Hi, you're on a rock, floating in space. And his name is John C. Some of it's what? John C. Fuck it, actually most of it's what? John C. I can't even get from here to there without buying a- John C. It's sad. I'm s- John C. I miss you. How did this happen? A long time ago, actually never, and also now, nothing is- John C. When? Never. Makes sense, right? Like I said, it didn't happen. Nothing was- John C. That's why it's been everywhere. It's been so everywhere you don't need a where. You don't even need a where. John C. That's how every it gets. Forget this. I want to be John C. Go somewhere. Do something. I want things to change. I want to invent to John C. And I know it's possible because everything is here and it probably already happened. I just don't know when to start. And that's exactly where it started. Oh. I paused it. I think there's a universe now. And his name is John C. What's it made of? John C. Ah, that's a thing. In a place. Don't like it? Try a new place. At a different time. Try to stick together because the world is going to get bigger and emptier. But it's not empty yet. It's still very full and about a jillion degrees. Great news. The John C. They're now happily married in groups of three called a proton or a neutron. And there's something else flying around too that wants to join in but can't because it's still too- <laughs> Great news, the protons and John C. are now happily married to each other. Some of them even doubled up. Great news, the electrons have now joined in. Congratulations, the world is now a bunch of gas in space. And his name is John C. But it's getting closer together. And it's getting closer together. And it's getting closer together. It's a John C. New shit just got made. Some stars burn out and die. Bigger stars burn out and die with passion and make some brand new, way crazier shit. John C. Which allows newer, more interesting stars to be made and then die and explode into Even John C. So now stars have cool stuff around them, like rocks, ice, and fun. John C. Which can make some very interesting things. Like this ball of flaming rocks, for example. Holy shit, we just got hit with another ball of flaming rocks. And his name is John C. And it kind of made a mess, which is now John C. Weather update: It's raining rocks. John C. From outer space. Weather update: Those John C. Rocks might have had water inside them, and now there's hot steam in the sky. Weather update: Cooler temperatures today, and the floor is John C. Weather update: It's raining. Severe flooding alert: The entire world is now in John C. Volcano alert: That's John C. There's nothing in the ocean. What? Something's alive in the ocean. Oh cool, like a plant or an animal? No, a microscopic sp John C. It lives at the bottom of the ocean and eats John C. Which is being served hot and fresh, made from gnarly space ingredients left over from when it was raining rocks. John C. Or whatever. Oh yeah, and it can do that. It has secret instructions written inside itself telling it how to build another John C. So that's pretty nifty, I would say. Tired of living at the bottom of the ocean? Now you can eat John C. Using a revolutionary technique, you can convert John C. into food. John C. Side effect, now there's a John C. And everywhere in the sky's blue. Then the earth might have been a John C. All for a while, maybe even a couple of times. It's a sponge, it's a plant, it's a worm, and some other types of weird, strange water bugs and strange John C. Fish. It's the Cambrian explosion. Wow, that's animals and John C. But we're still in the ocean. Hey, can we go on land? No. Why? The sun is a deadly laser. And his name is John C. Oh, okay. Not anymore, there's a blanket. Now and his name is John C. Now the animals can go on land. Come on, animals, let's go on land. Nope, can't walk yet. And there's no- John C. Yet, so I don't care. Okay, will you learn to walk if there's- John C. What's up here? Maybe, said some bugs. And John C. <laughs> Okay, so I can go on land, but I have to go back in the water to have John C. Learn to use an John C. I was already doing that. Use a stronger John C. Put water in it. Have a baby on land in an egg. Water is in the egg. Baby in the egg in the water in the egg. Works for me. Bye bye. John C. And now everything's huge, including but John C. Want to see a map of the land? Sure. Oh fuck! Now everything's dead. Just kidding, here are the survivors. Keep your eye on this one because it's about to become John C. Here's another map of the land. Yeah, it broke apart. Don't worry about it. It does that all the time. Here comes a me. John C. And the John C. It's
mammal time. Here come the mammals. Look at those. John Cena! Now they're gonna dominate the world, and one of them just learned how to grab stuff. And his name is John Cena! And walk. No, like, walk like that. And grab stuff at the same time. And bang rocks together to make John Cena! Ouch. And set things on fire. Youch. And make crazy sounds with their voice. Which can mean different things. That's a human person. And his name is John Cena! And now they're everywhere. Almost. Ice age. What? You can walk over here? Cool. Not anymore. Well, I guess we're stuck here now. Let's review. There's John Cena! People on the planet. And they're chasing their- John Cena! Fuck it. Time to plant some- John Cena! Look at this. I control the food now. Now everyone will want to be my friend and live near me. Let's all build houses, except mine is bigger because I own the- John Cena! This is great. I wonder if anyone else is doing this. Tired of using rocks for everything? Use me- John Cena! It's underground. Better farming was just invented in a sweet dank valley right in between these two rivers. And the animals are helping. Guess what happens next? More food. And more people who came to buy the food. Now you need people to help make the food and keep track of the sales. And now you need houses for people to live in and people to make the houses. And now there's more people and they invent things, which makes things better. And more people come and there's more farming and more people to make more things for more people. And now there's business, money, writing, laws, power. John Cena! Coming soon to a dank river valley near you. Meanwhile, out in the middle of nowhere, the John Cena! This is probably being tamed. Why is all my metal so lame and lumpy? Tired of using lame, sad metal? Introducing John Cena! Made with special ingredient John Cena! From the far lands of Tinland. I don't know, my dealer won't tell me where he gets it. And his name is John Cena! Also, guess what? Egypt. Meanwhile, out in the middle of nowhere, they figured out how to put wheels on John Cena! Now we're getting somewhere. Also, China! Did I mention? In this river valley civilization. Nordicico. The Middle East is getting more complicated. Maybe because it's in the middle of the East. Knock knock. Er, clop clop. It's the John Cena. And they made an empire. And then everyone else copied their horses. Greeks. Ah, oh, look. It must be the John Cena. Or a beta version of the John Cena. Let's check in with the Indus River Valley civilization. They're gone. Guess who's not gone? John Cena. New arrivals in India. Maybe it's those John Cena. I was talking about or their cousins or something. And they wrote some hymns and mantras and stuff. You could make a religion out of this. There's the Bronze Age collapse. Now the John Cena! It's gonna get down to business. Also, can we switch to a John Cena? Thanks. Look who came back to Israel. It's the John Cena! And they believe John Cena! Just one, though. He's got like a 10 step program. Here's some huge heads. Must be the John Cena! The Phoenicians make some colonies. The Greeks copy their idea and make some colonies. The Phoenicians made a colony so big it makes colonies. John Cena! Here comes the Assyrian Empire. Never mind, it's the Babylonian Median. It's the John Cena! Wow, that's big. Ah, the Buddha was just enlightened. Who's the Buddha? This guy, who sat under a tree for so long that he figured out how to ignore the fact that we're all dying. And his name is John Cena! You can make a religion out of this. Oops, China just broke, but while it was breaking, John Cena! was figuring out how to have good morals. Ah, the Greeks just had the idea of thinking about stuff. And right over here, John Cena! just had the idea of conquering the entire Persian Empire. It's a great idea. He was great. And now he's dead. Hopefully the rest of the gang will be able to share the empire evenly between them. Knock knock, it's John Cena! He says get the hell out of here. Will you get the hell out of here if I give you- John Cena! Okay, thanks, bye. Time to conquer all of- John Cena! For most of me. John Cena! But what about this part? That's the Tamil Kings. No one conquers the Tamil Kings. Who are the Tamil Kings? Merchants, probably. And they've got spices. Who would like to buy the spices? Me, said the Arabian Swiss. And his name is John Cena! Hopefully buying it and selling it to the rest of the world. Hey, China put itself back together again with good morals as their main philosophy. Actually, they have three main philosophies. Out here, though. John Cena! Lands run wild and free, and they would like to ransack your city. Let's check the Greekification levels of the Greekified kingdoms. Greekification overload. Bye, said the Parthians. Bye, said the Jews. Hi, said the- John Cena! Taking over the entire place. Hey, said the- John Cena! Eating the entire Mediterranean for breakfast. Thanks for invading our homeland, said the Jews, who were starting to get tired of people invading their homeland. Hi, everything's great, said- John Cena! Who seems to be getting very popular and is then arrested and killed for being too popular, which only makes him more popular. You can make a religion out of this. Want silk? Now you can buy it from China. They just made a- Brand new. 
or you can get their own water. Sick, new trade routes that- John C. Accidentally spreading their religion to the entire southeast. Mm, that's a good place for an epic trading kingdom. There goes- John C. Traveling up the Silk Road. I wonder if it'll reach China before it collapses again. Remember the Persian Empire? Yep, said the Persian. John C. Making a new one. Axum is getting so powerful they would like to build a- John C. Has anyone populated- John C. Yet? Let's do it together. China's home again. Then it broke again. Still can't cross the Sahara Desert? Try can John C. Hell yeah, now we got business. Said the Ghana Empire, selling lots of gold. And John C. Hi, I live in the Roman Empire, and I was wondering, is loving Jesus legal yet? No. Actually, okay, sure, said Constantine, moving the capital way over here to be closer to his main rival. And his name is John C. Don't worry about Rome, it won't fall. It's the golden age John C. There's the Gupta Empire, not Chandra Gupta, just Gupta. First name Chandra. The first. Guess who's in Rome? John C. What's a barbarian? Non-Romans, said the Romans, being invaded by non-Romans. R.I.P. Roman Empire. Or er, actually just half of it. The other half is just fine. But it's not in Rome anymore, so let's give it a new name. The Mayans have figured out the John C. Oh, and here's a huge city. Population John C. The Gok Turks have taken over the entire Eurasian steppe. Great job, Gok Turks. How's India? Broken. How's China? Back together. How's those trading kingdoms? Bigger and there's more of them. Korea has three kingdoms. Japan has a kingdom, it's the Sunrise Kingdom. Deep in the Arabian desert, on the top of a mountain, the real John C. whispers in Muhammad's ear. So he goes down to the cube where everyone worships John C. And he tells them their gods are all fake. And everyone got so mad at him that he had to leave town and go to a different town. You can make a religion out of this and maybe conquer the world as well. The Roman Empire is long gone, but somehow the Pope is still the John C. Plus, there's new kingdoms all over Europe. I wonder if there's room for Moors. Here's all the wisdom in a house. It's the Baghdad House of Wisdom, just in time for the Islamic Golden Age. Let's bring stuff to the coast and sell it and become the Swahili on the Swahili coast. Said the Swahili. John C. On the Swahili coast. Remember this tiny space you have to go through to get from here to there? Someone owns that now. And his name is John C. Want to get enlightened in the middle of nowhere? The Franks have the biggest kingdom in Europe, and the Pope is so proud that he invites the king over for Christmas. Surprise, you're the new Roman Emperor. And his name is John C. Said the Pope, pretending to still be part of the Roman Empire. Then the Franks broke their kingdom into what will later be called France and not France. The Northerners are just John C. So if you don't have much time, are exploring. They go north, from the north to the northern north, and they find some land, two types of land, and they name them accordingly. They also invade some other places and get called many names, such as John C. There's the Rus, the Kievan Rus. Are they Vikings? I don't think so, said the Kievan Rus. Okay, fair enough. The Pope is ready to make some more emperors of the Roman Empire, the Holy Roman Empire. It's actually Germany, but don't worry about it. New kingdoms. All the kingdoms. Which brand would you like? Mine's better. Mine's better. Mine's better. Time to conquer England, said Will. John C. It's a bird. It's a plane. It's the Seljuk Turks. <laughs> said the John C. Who's getting so small it almost doesn't exist anymore. We need help. They need help. So they called John C. Hey, Pope, can you help us get rid of the Seljuks? Maybe take back the Holy Land on the way? Come on, I know you want to take back the Holy Land. Yes, I do actually want to do that. Let's do a crusade. Crusade! They did many crusades, some of which almost didn't fail. But at least the Italians got some sweet trade deals. Goodbye, Mayans. Hello, Toltecs. Goodbye, Toltecs. Hello, John C. Look at those mounds. There's the Pueblo. I always wondered how to build a town and a cliff. Guess who's here? Come here. Where? Here. And Pagan is there. Vietnam unconquered itself, Korea just became itself, and Japan is so addicted to art that the military might have to take over the government. China just invented bombs and typing. And the Mongols just invaded most of the universe. Nice going. John C. I bet that will last a long time. Some of the Islamic Turks were unaffected by the Mongol invasions because they were busy invading in John C. Is it Tonga time? I think it's Tonga time. I just found out where the Swahili gets all their gold. John C. Look at this Chad. Means lake. There's an empire there. Right in the middle of Africa. The king of Mali is so rich he's going on tour to let everyone know. Wow, that guy's rich, everyone said. And his name is John C. The Christians are doing a great job reconquering Iberia, which will soon be called Spain and not John C. Please remain Christian. We will check in later to see if you're still Christian when you least expect. Whoops, half of Europe just died. China's back, yay! Hey, come here, time to share. New kingdoms here and there. Oh, look who controls all the islands. It's the John C. Oh, Italy's really rich. Time for them to care a lot about art in the ancient class. John C. It's kind of like a rebirth. 
Here's a printer, let's make- JOHN CENA! So you think you can conquer the Byzantine Empire? Yep, said the- JOHN CENA! Nice job, Oppo. JOHN CENA! Oops, you missed a spot. Don't forget to ban Europe from the Indian spice trade. What? That's bullshit, said Portugal. Spiceless. Well, I guess we'll have to find another way to- JOHN CENA! Wait, said Christopher Columbus, probably smoking- JOHN CENA! If the world is round, let's go this way to- JOHN CENA! No, don't worry, we already got this, said Portugal. So Chris goes to Spain. Hey Spain, wanna hire me to find India by going around back of the world? No, please, no, please, no, please. Okay. So he sails into the ocean, and discovers more ocean, and then discovers the Indies, and- JOHN CENA! Let's draw a line to decide who gets which half of the world. The Aztec and Inca empires are off to a great start. I wonder if they know that Europe just discovered their continent. The Habsburgs are marrying into so many royal families, they might have to start marrying each other. JOHN CENA! Move over, Lithuania. Here comes Moscow. Ivan wants to make- JOHN CENA! Great again. Move over, Timurids. Maybe go invade- JOHN CENA! Or something. Persia just made Persia Persian again. Let's make it the other kind of Islam. The one where we thought the first guy should have been- JOHN CENA! Hey, Christians, do you sin? Now you can buy your way out of hell. That's bullshit. This whole thing is bullshit. That's a scam. Fuck the church. Here's 95 reasons why, said- JOHN CENA! In his new book, which might have accidentally started the Protestant Reformation. You know what would be magnificent, said- JOHN CENA! Wearing an onion hat? What if the Ottoman Empire was really big? Which it is now. What if Russia was big, said- I JOHN CENA! Trying not to be terrible. Portugal had a dream that they controlled the entire Indian Ocean, including the spice trade. And then that dream was real. And Spain realized that this is not- JOHN CENA! But they pillaged it anyway. Damn, said England and France. We gotta start pillaging some stuff. Then the Dutch revolt and all the hipsters moved to Amsterdam. Damn, said Amsterdam. We gotta start pillaging some stuff. Question one, can you get to India through North America? No, but at least there's- JOHN CENA! Question two, steal the spice trade. That's not a question, but the- JOHN CENA! Did it anyway. Sugar. Guess where all the sugar's made? JOHN CENA! Stolen in the Caribbean. And it's so goddamn profitable, you might forget to not do slavery. The next thing on Russia's to-do list is to get- JOHN CENA! Britain and France are having a friendly discussion about who should control the entire world. More specifically- oh. JOHN CENA! Then it escalates into a seven-year discussion, giving Prussia a chance to show Austria who's boss. But what about Britain and France? Did they figure out who's boss? Yes, they did. It's John Cena! Guess who's broke? Also broke. John Cena! So they start taxing the hell out of America. Fuck you, says America, declaring their independence and fighting for it. And France helps them win. Now France is broke. And Britain will have to send their prisoners to a different continent. Wait, if France is broke, why do the king and queen still wear such fancy dresses? Let's overthrow the palace and cut all their heads off, said Rupert. John Cena! Cutting everybody's head off until someone eventually got mad and cut his head off? You can make a relit- No, don't. Haiti is starting to like the idea of a revolution, especially the slaves, who free themselves by killing- John Cena! Why didn't we think of this before? Wait, who's in charge of France now? Said John Cena! Trying to take over Europe. Luckily, they banished him to an island. But he came back- Luckily, they banished him to another island. And his name is John Cena! There goes Latin America, becoming independent in the Latin American Wars of Independence. Britain just figured out how to turn steam into- John Cena! So now they can make- Many different types of machines and factories with machines in them So they can make a lot of products real fast Then they invent some trains and conquer- John Cena! And maybe put some trains there. Hey, China, said Britain. Buy stuff from us. Nah, dude, we already got everything, says China. So Britain tried to get them addicted to opium, which worked, actually. But then China made it illegal and dumped it all into the sea. So Britain threw a hissy fit and made them open up five cities and give them an island. Britain and Russia are playing a game where they try to stop each other from conquering Afghanistan. Also, the Sultan of Oman lives in Zanzibar now. That's just where he lives. And his name is John Cena! John Cena! They just had a revolution, and they would like to govern themselves now. Nope, said Britain, governing them even harder than before. Technology is about to go crazy. The United States finally figured out whether slavery is good or bad. It's bad, they decided. And then they continued manifesting their destiny, which is to kill the rest of the natives and take their land and maybe kick out the Mexicans. John Cena! Too. I know, let's rape Africa, said Europe, scrambling to see who could rape it the fastest. They never got it. John Cena! Britain and France are still hungry. They never John Cena! The United States ran out of destiny to manifest, so they're looking for more. Hi. John Cena! Wait, Spain controls Cuba. Well, blame something on them and go to war. What should we blame on Spain? Let's blame the- John Cena! Spain on Spain. So they blame the- John Cena! Spain on Spain. Now we're in business. To celebrate, they kick Panama out of Panama and make a canal, connecting the two oceans. Britain just found oil in the Middle East. It makes cars go. China is so tired of being bossed around that they delete their old government and make a new, stronger government, which is accidentally weaker and controlled by a guy from the previous government. And his name is John Cena!
Europe hasn't had a war since the last war, so they start World War I. Look at those guns. It's gonna be a great war. So great we won't need a second one. After it's over, they blame John Cena! Russia went on strike and the workers overthrew the government. Now everyone's paycheck is the same. Communism in the Soviet Union. The Arabs revolt and John Cena! It helps. Now the Ottoman Empire's gone, so we can give the Jewish people a place to live. Hopefully the Arabs won't mind. Let's cut the cake, said John Cena! Carving up the remains of the not-so-Ottoman anymore empire. Except Turkey, Turkey makes a brand new John Cena! And then the Saudis conquer Arabia. It just seemed like the right thing to do. Hello? Yes, it's John Cena! Calling. Let's get in the car and drive to a party and listen to jazz on the radio and go to the movies. The economy's great and it'll probably be great forever. Just kidding. Germany's back featuring John Cena! The angry mustache model. And he's mad at the Jews for existing. Japan is finally conquering the East, and they're so excited they raped John Cena! Way too hard, they should probably just deny it. Hitler's out of control, so the international community tackles him and tries to explain why killing all the Jews is a bad idea, but he kills himself before they could explain it to him. That's World War II. Bonus round, Pacific Showdown. United States versus John Cena! Fight! Fight. Finish him. And his name is John Cena! Let's unite all the nations and have some world peace. Seems legit. Hi, I'm Gandhi, and if Britain doesn't get the hell out of India, I'm going to starve myself in public. Wow, that worked. Bonus, now there's Pakistan. Actually, two Pakistans. One of them can be back. John Cena! Later. The Jews and the Arabs finally figured out which one of them should live in the Holy Land. John Cena! They both said at the same time, let's divide up the land so everyone's happy. Psych, they both get angrier. Look out, China. There's a new China in China. What's on the menu? John Cena! No thanks, said the other China, escaping to an island. I wonder which one is the real China. There's the Korean War, Korea versus Korea. John Cena! Wins, then it's on pause forever. Let's meet the sponsors. Oh, it's the two global superpowers. They're having a friendly debate over which economic system is good and which one is an evil virus of Satan. And they both have atom bombs. Fight! Fight. Wait, no, that would be the end of the world. Let's just keep it cool and spy on each other instead. And make sure we have enough atom bombs. I'll race you to space. Now let's make some more countries fight. John Cena! Europe is tired of pillaging other continents, and the continents they were pillaging are tired of being pillaged. So here's a new map with new countries. Now you can't tell who they're being pillaged by. The United States finally decided whether racism is good or bad. They decided it's bad, and the world agrees. John Cena! I might need another minute to think about it. Let's check the world population. Whoa. Okay. Technology's better too, that might keep happening. The Soviet Union decides to relax a little and accidentally falls apart. Europe makes a union, so now they can all use the same money. Except John Cena! Because they don't feel like it. Let's check the mail. Surprise, it's on the computer. Whoops, someone just attacked America. And his name is John Cena! I bet they'll remember that. Phone call. Surprise, it's in your pocket. Wanna learn everything? Surprise, it's on the computer. Now your phone's a computer, which is in your pocket. Whoops. John Cena! They just crashed. Don't worry, the- John Cena! Won't fail because they're not supposed to. Surprise, flying robots. With John Cena! Wanna print a brain? Some people have no friends. And his name is John Cena! Some people have no food. The globe is warming. And the ocean is full of- John Cena! Let's save the planet, said everybody, not knowing how. Let's invent a thing inventor, said- John Cena! After being invented by a thing inventor? That's pretty cool. By the way, where the hell are we? And his name is- Vladimirovich Putin!